final signs and say we've lost Taro. Okay guys, <clears throat> I am doing um, a, I am going to be doing a very quick, um, I'm not doing any need to check in, I'll do who's coming towards you for this weekend and I will get you a oracle card from the spirit animals. I will do more readings later on and I will be going live tonight um, for the love reading. Okay guys? Right, as it's Pisces season, happy birthday Pisces, I'm going backwards today. So, Pisces, who is coming towards you this weekend in love? This is timeless, um, so it doesn't have to be this weekend. And it's also um, a singles read, because if you're in a couple, why the hell would you be watching tarot? Alright, so Pisces, who's coming towards you? A Knight of Wands, could be Aries, Leo, Sag. Pisces, you've got all fire energy out here, so definitely a fire sign's coming towards you. So, someone who is in and out, there could be a player. Or well, they've been in and out with you in the past. Okay, seven of wands. This person's quite defensive, or they see you're, you're going to be quite defensive against them. They've been waiting for their ships to come in. The three of wands. And they're heavily burdened right now. Okay, so, just do this quick. Okay, what is the seven of wands? Why is this fire sign defensive towards Pisces this weekend? They're going to defend your connection, that's what it is. Okay, Pisces. Alright, they're going to come in, they're going to offer you a lovely cup of love and they want an equal give and take, take with you and they're going to defend this relationship. They're going to fight off anyone who tries to get involved. It could be why it's burdening them. So you've got heavy fire energy, Pisces. So um, any Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Right, let's get your oracle. Okay. You've got act as if in the reverse, a chameleon spirit. So your advice, I, I will be taking them in the upright. So this weekend, act as if, if there's someone that you're wanting, um, like a new relationship or whatever it is, act as if you've already got that person. If it's a new job, act as if you've already got the job. If it's money, if it's a lottery win, if it's finances or whatever, act as if you've already got it. Okay. Oh, you had a hidden one. You've got hummingbird spirit, so be here now. So, um, what that's saying is, there seems to be a rush. I'm feeling rushed energy, that you need to be here now. Whatever this means to you, you need to be there now. Okay, for this weekend. And you've got Eagle Spirit. So, Spirit has your back in whatever decision you want to make. Okay, Aquarius. Who's coming towards you this weekend? Okay, could be a Sagittarius or a Gemini or a Libra. So you've got the lovers coming towards you. Okay, there's someone who sees you as a soulmate, but they also could have a choice between two different people. Again, it could be a Gemini. The temperance is in reverse, so this is someone who could be quite unbalanced right now. Possibly after a heartbreak or after putting you in a third party, they want balance with you. Um, I'm just hearing they're emotionally and mentally unstable right now, possibly because of this Three of Swords. So yes, you've got Gemini, Sagittarius and Libra could be coming towards you. Can I find the Three of Swords for Aquarius? Someone is really up in their head um, about this. Whatever this is, someone can't stop thinking about it. Whether this was um, a third party situation, whether this was someone cheating, or whether this is literally a, a, a betrayal. I can't talk for your reading. Someone doesn't want you to know this. Whether this was a betrayal of whatever kind, right? Someone feels stuck and bound to this, whatever this is. Okay, and this is the person coming towards you. Again, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, clarify temperance in the reverse. Why is this person unbalanced? They want happiness with you, could be a Leo. Page of Cups. They're unbalanced, but they still want to offer you this uh, cup of love. Okay, it could be immature cup of love. This could even be a child of yours coming towards you and they've been through heartbreak, you know, and they just, they want to talk to their parent. Tell you what resonates there, guys, okay? Okay, right, let's get you your advice. Okay, advice for Aquarius. Okay. okay, you've got bat spirit, so a rebirth is assured. Okay, you could be going through a rebirth of something, of your life, of a relationship, a job, a work, family life, whatever it is. But a rebirth is assured for you. Right, Capricorn. 
Who's coming towards Capricorn this weekend? Okay. Oh, got double energy coming towards you this weekend, Capricorn. It's your own card coming out. Could be another Capricorn. Someone who has addiction, someone who is toxic, someone who is obsessive. Okay, the moon. This person has secrets. They're hiding it. They could be hiding... I will clarify these actually for you. So it could be a Cancer or a Pisces. We've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this person has a decision to make, but they're not wanting to see the truth for what it is. Somebody wants to plant seeds, waiting for their harvest, but they're also feeling like a wounded warrior. I'm feeling narc energy already. Shit. I'm already feeling narc energy for you, narcissist energy. Okay, right, what is the moon? Why is this here? King and Queen of Pentacles. Whoever's coming towards you, this... They're on a couple. Okay, because this is a singles read. This person has a spouse, whoever this is. <coughs> okay, they don't want me to talk, Capricorn. <coughs> okay, it could be the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, sorry, I thought that was the King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. What they're hiding is, um, they could be holding back from you. Uh, holding on to finances, but they there is this Queen of Pentacles. It could be the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you as well. They could be holding on to you for dear life, and it's a secret. This is the obsession. They want to plant seeds with you. They're feeling a bit guarded, feeling a bit like a wounded warrior, but I have a decision to make. Okay? <clears throat> that person really didn't want me to talk, so maybe they haven't expressed how they feel to you yet. Okay? All right, B spirit. They just said, "Look at the bottom. You've got B spirit. So sweet results await." So you, this person may confess their feelings to you because sweet results await. All right, was that okay? Apparently, that was your your oracle card. Okay, thank you, Michael. All right, Sagittarius, who's coming towards you this weekend? Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. No, sorry, could be Gemini, Virgo, Aries, or a Scorpio. And you've got Aries, Leo, Sag off the board. So you've got someone who is manipulative coming towards you, Sagittarius, okay? Someone who's probably using black magic. They're in an occult. Um, this person, they're quite independent. They're very passionate. Um, they could be a little bit egocentrical, if that's a word. That did not sound right. Egotistical, that sounds right. Um, they are passionate. They are sitting on the throne. They're quite... So well, they like to be on their own, this person, okay? And the page of one. So they want passionate communication with you. My senses are now going knucking fuss right now. Sorry, I had to say it that way. I don't know why for your region, Sagittarius, but I had to say knucking fuss instead of fucking nuts. I have no idea. Okay, let's do some clarifiers there. Why is this magician in the reverse? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so you've got karmic energy coming towards you this weekend. This person is trying to manipulate your finances. Queen of Pentacles in the upright. This is someone who's stable, loving, kind, nurturing, Kevin. Kevin? Oh, is someone dealing with a Kevin? Caring. Interesting. My son's name's Kevin. He's Pisces. Anyway, Sagittarius. Yeah, this is someone who, who could be um, doing spell work on your finances, is kind of what I'm getting. Alright, what's King of Cups? King of Cups. Okay. Okay, well this King of Cups, uh, this is the Everything is Okay card, but it's also, it's one hell of a betrayal. And they could possibly be keeping their options open or they're confused about their feelings. They are in love with you. I'm getting that. They do want communication with you. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, sorry, yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, wow, Sagittarius. All right. What is your advice? Okay, you've got Mouse Spirit. So tend to the small things, so the littlest things you need to tend to, but don't overdo yourself, you need to rest at some point. Okay, 
Scorpio, who's coming towards you this weekend? Who's coming towards Scorpio this weekend? <clears throat> Someone who feels like a wounded warrior, but expect communication or fast travel towards you. Someone's quite passionate about you. They, they could be going through some stuff at the moment, feeling like a wounded warrior. But the person coming towards you could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. And Michael says that's the reading. Okay? Okay, thank you, Michael. There's your reading, Scorpio. Fire sign coming towards you. They're guarded, they're defensive, they're feeling like a wounded warrior. But expect them to reach out to you passionately and possibly quite a lot of conversation. Okay? So it could be an Aries Leo or a Sag. Alright, what is your advice? I'm going to put on the floor. Right. Okay, your advice is uh, lion spirit. So be generous of spirit. Okay, Libra. Who's coming towards you this weekend? Single Libras. Okay. Okay, it could be your Queen of Swords and a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius. This is someone who could, could come off as quite cold hearted. They're quite angry right now because I'm feeling anger off of this person. But they're also, it's weird because I'm getting angry, passionate, yeah? This person, they're angry, but it's all passion, okay? This person wants to talk to you, communicate to you. Um, this might be sexting or something, you know? Um, this could be somebody that you um, that you have a family with, with the Ten of Pentacles, we've talked about a Capricorn, and some somebody's coming to bring justice. Whether this is a court situation, somebody's going to get justice here, and this is your card, Libra. So someone is going to be financially stable, possibly after this weekend. I'm actually feeling, Gem um, not Gemini, Libra, you could be dealing with a Gemini, that this is you. I'm feeling this is you, even though I'm saying who's coming towards you, but I feel like if anyone comes near you right now, you're going to cut them down. You're not in the best of mood. You don't want to deal with this particular person right now. Okay? But they're coming in to offer you this. You know, their wand. They're coming in to offer you Mr. Manhood or Mrs. Ninny. Yeah? Take what resonates here. You do have a family with this person, but there's justice here. So, like I say, it could be a court case going on. Um, it could be for child support, but you will be financially stable after like i said it doesn't have to be this weekend all right what is the advice for libra okay you've got seahorse spirit so watch and wait that's why i'm kind of thinking this is a court situation watch and wait and then you've got stag spirit so take the lead if it is a court situation i'm thinking um because you're a libra you may take the stand and you're your voice is going to be heard. You will be heard, Libra, okay? Whatever it is that is going on. But I'm hearing, I keep hearing finances are going to be good. Oh, I really hope finances will be good for you. Do you know what? You get a fortune cookie. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Libras, what is your fortune for this weekend? Okay, right, you've got burnout, so I'm already feeling whatever the situation is going on for you this weekend. The reason why I was thinking the Queen of Swords is your energy because you've got burnout. So, your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So, check in with your doctor, dentist, or health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. And then you've got romance. Okay, love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Nice for Libras. Brilliant way to end your reading. On a romantic note. Okay, Virgo, who's coming towards you this weekend, my love? Oh, can I get one more piece for the King of Swords in the reverse? Two, okay. person coming towards you they're going to offer you a brand new beginning this is a new person but you need to pay attention to the red flags on this okay brand new person they could be claiming that they've got money they're stable and they can take care of you but this person is a narcissist 
they may just want to spend your money they are juggling when this person comes in they're going to be juggling you with something else but this person is a narcissist okay and i'm hearing a very abusive one okay you they might put on the charm to begin with you know they'll they'll get you to like them whether this is your first second or third or fourth date or however long heard this just heard however long this person has been manifesting you apparently you've had a couple of dates so far they're gonna come in they're gonna offer you with this but this person is an abusive narcissist so please pay attention to the red flags with this person could be a gemini libra aquarius so you've got heavy um taurus virgo capricorn out here but why is the two of pentacles here higher front at the bottom they could be married already could, could be to a taurus doesn't have to be who they're still in communication with okay what is the two of pentacles there you go right they're gonna offer you this but they don't mean it all right either that or there is another person in the picture who they're not offering their page of pentacle to the chariot in the reverse they're making no movements they could be having car trouble knight of cups coming in with a bold offer whether to you or to another person could be a cancer Pisces or a scorpio and you've got the fall so taking a leap of faith they're gonna go for it either with you or with somebody else okay could be with an aries cancer in the reverse there okay right so please be aware this person could be a very abusive narcissist offering you the bloody world but then at the end of the day they're heartless all right okay leo no wrong one not doing leo yet sorry scratch that i've got to do that again because i leo virgo what is your advice thank you hawk spirit so you've got let spirit be your guide yeah when dealing with this person ask your angels your spirit guides and your ancestors for clarity first use your intuition okay spirit will guide you when it comes to this person okay right leo who's coming towards you this weekend who's coming towards you this weekend leo that one wants to come out okay you've got a king of swords a gemini libra aquarius this is someone who thinks a lot they are logical they are intelligent but they're at a crossroads they're not sleeping at night they're up in their head they possibly have anxiety but they are stable or they're coming off as stable either that or this is a same-sex relationship because we've got two kings out here you can have two oh okay you've got two different energies coming towards you <laughs> leo you've got two different masculine energies coming towards you this weekend you've got a king of swords a gemini libra or an aquarius i've just heard a gemini and you've got the king of pentacles a taurus virgo capricorn this one's very loving kind nurturing caring and stable okay um somebody wants a new beginning something has to end for a new beginning could be a scorpio that you're dealing with but you've got uh, air out here um so this okay this two of wands is you making a decision between an air sign and an earth sign okay <clears throat> or a scorpio but you need to you've got a tough decision to make this weekend because you've got two energies coming towards you both sound very good and valid one's trustworthy and very intelligent charming logical and the other one is very loving kind nurturing and caring and stable okay and abundant so the choice is yours um leo right what is your advice advice for leo your advice is okay giraffe spirit so see the big picture when it comes to this weekend open your heart use your clear cognizance which i know you have leo um you're not dumb you're fucking smart and you are the daddies of the zodiac okay you are the top dog because you're a lion so yeah use that intuition of yours guide you in this situation all right cancer who's coming towards you this weekend someone's coming at you with the truth okay already you've got air energy gemini libra aquarius coming towards you this is someone who feels kind of stuck and bound in their own self in their own mind um they're overthinking a situation they're kind of they've blindfolded themselves to the situation but truth and clarity is coming your way this weekend possibly from a gemini libra or an aquarius 
and fast. So I said, look at the bottom of the deck, which is the Knight of Swords. You've definitely got an air sign coming towards you with truth and clarity. They're coming in quick. Why? Why, is it, why are they coming in quick? Why the Knight of Swords? You must be dealing with a Gemini because that got thrown on the floor. <laughs> okay. They're coming in because you either left them out in the cold or they left you out in the cold. And they're not single. Okay. What's done on the floor is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person, the truth and clarity you're going to get. Whoever it is you've been dealing with, they're not single, they're taken. That's why you were left out in the cold. You will find out the truth this weekend. That the person that you're dealing with, whether it's a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius, they're taken. They are not single. In the upright, that's someone who's single, abundant, looks after themselves. They don't need anyone. This is someone who's in a relationship. I'm sorry, Cancer. You are going to find out. This either this weekend or very soon, truth and clarity will come out, and you are dealing with a air sign, okay? Because you've got the majority of this is air energy. All right, so let me get your advice. You were left out in the cold by this person. All right, so let's get you your advice for this weekend. Let's say keep going for you. All right, you may have a tough weekend, my love. Okay, so you have lion spirit, so be generous of spirit, so talk to spirit, be generous with them, L listen to them, you know, equal give and take with spirit, your spirit guides, your ancestors and your angels, yeah, you might need it for what's coming towards you, so you've got coyote spirit, so trust in the divine detours, so the divine is putting this in front of you for a reason, cancer, okay, this has to happen, it's the inevitable, I'm surprised the tower didn't come out. That this has been orchestrated by the universe, by the divine, and it's got to happen. So please trust in the divine detours, because what comes after it is going to be so much better for you. Yeah, and you've got koi fish spirit. There is always enough. There is always enough to go around. Okay, whether this is finances, your love, your time and energy, there is always enough to go around. Even if you're feeling quite stressed at the moment, you're feeling stretched financially. Whether you've got children or you've got exes, baby mothers, baby fathers, this is alimony, this is divorce, this is legal. There's always enough. You're a great manifester. If you get, get yourself a Moldavite necklace, you can manifest anything, okay? I'm wearing mine. I constantly wear it. And I've managed to manifest a hell of a lot into my life. All right, my darling, sorry that took so long. All right, Gemini. Who's coming towards Gemini this weekend? Okay. I don't know about coming towards, but someone's certainly walking away after being put in competition. Heard some gossip. Someone is extremely jealous here. All right, Page of Cups. So it's someone that Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio doesn't have to be. It's coming in to offer you a cup of love. Could be a Pisces. Because I just heard that. It could be a Pisces. All right, but this person, they're quite jealous of the competition around you. So they could end up Walking away, if they come towards you, they offer you this cup of love and you're on the phone, you're texting somebody else or, you know, you're dealing with multiple people or you're listening to gossip or whatever this is, whatever they've heard about you, they may end up walking away from you this weekend towards the King of Cups, towards a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, okay? All right. So you've got water and fire here. Yeah, they're saying that's all right, yeah. So if this person, if this person knows that they're competition, they're in competition for you, they're going to walk away and they're going to go towards someone who will actually love them, possibly Cancer Pisces Scorpio, all right? Okay. Set healthy boundaries, Gemini. You need to set healthy boundaries, especially if there's a lot of competition and jealousy and conflict, right? What is uh, Gemini's advice? Okay, you got Hawk Spirit, so let Spirit be your guide. Listen to them. They are telling you some shit at the moment that you've not been listening to. They've also been telling you the signs have been cautioning you. Do you want me to get one more? Yes, okay. That one? Okay. Alright. 
Okay, so Pig Spirit, use your mind wisely. This is good for you because Gemini, you are so intelligent, alright? You're that intelligent that no one can scam a Gemini. Okay, so use your mind wisely. You've got a lot of thinking to do. Let's see if this is a love situation. You've got Coyote Spirit, so trust in the Divine Detour. So something has to happen for new beginnings. Alright, be generous of spirit. You've got the same as cancer. You could be dealing with a cancer this weekend. Okay, and you've got Groundhog Spirit, so time to let go. It's time to let go of the past, Gemini. Alright, the divine, the universe has got something so much better for you. Okay, my loves. Alright, Taurus. Let's behave today, guys, okay? So who's coming towards you this weekend, Taurus? Got a Knight of Swords. Someone is rushing in, possibly with news, or this could be a police officer rushing into you. Because I, I don't know. Either that or someone's angry, or someone is rushing into you because you are their happiness, the sun. It could be a Leo rushing in. Also, somebody could have just had a baby. Okay. What is the Knight of Swords? No, oh, the energy that's crossing you for the Knight of Swords. This person doesn't know whether they're going to rush in or not. They are happy right now. It could be a Leo. But what's crossing them is this King of Cups and the Eight of Cups. They are very indecisive. They do love you. They probably walked away from you already. And they're rushing back to you because you actually make them happy. Or they're still in love with you, but they, but they feel like they have to walk away from you. You know, it kind of feels like if you love them let them go type of deal so you're dealing with fire air and water all right what is your advice taurus okay your advice is think on your feet you may get a tower moment this weekend this person rushing in if they're going to come in to have an argument with you okay think on your feet all right um if you're suddenly going to be accused of something which you probably will be Sorry, apparently I had to say that. Um, you can think of something really quick and on the spot to say to keep them happy. But please, for the love of God, don't fucking lie to this person. Or they're going to walk away from you. Alright, we've got Koala Spirit. So Spirit has a plan for you. Peacock Spirit, let it shine. And then you've got Flamingo Spirit, embrace the in-between. Okay, what resonates with there? Okay, right. Aries, who is coming towards Aries this weekend in love for singles? Six of Swords. Somebody who wants to move on with you, they want to drop the burdens. Someone who can't stop thinking about you, they lay awake all night because of the betrayal. But they're still at the crossroads, but they want to take care of you. Weird energy so far. Aries, okay, I'm going to need clarifying. Because you could be dealing with um, an air sign, a fire sign, or an earth sign this weekend. This King of Pentacles, whoever this is, it looks like they want to take care of you. They're at a crossroads right now. There was a betrayal done here, but they could be moving on from you or moving towards you again. They're moving on, or they see... Okay, many ways to look at this. A person coming towards you could feel that you're moving on. Could be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Because you've dropped the burdens. And it's keeping them up at night because they can't get to you. Um, because of a betrayal that happened. Someone didn't make a decision. Possibly not quick enough because this is fire energy. And you're living your best life as the King of Pentacles, Aries. Let's clarify anyway. So what is the Six of Swords? What is the Six of Swords? Yeah, okay. So, whoever's coming towards you this weekend, they've been overthinking the situation with you. They've got it into their head that you're going to move on without them, that you're just going to leave them behind. Again, air energy, so it could be Gemini or Aquarius. You've dropped the burdens. What is this betrayal? What is the Ten of Swords? What is this? Let's put them at a crossroads. King of Swords, Gemini energy. So this King of Swords could have betrayed you, but why? What was the betrayal? What was the betrayal? OK. 
okay. The betrayal could have been that they slept with somebody else. They could have got someone else pregnant, but there was either a miscarriage or there was a lie about a pregnancy. Okay. This is the betrayal. It's like somebody tried to trap this person coming towards you, somebody tried to trap them with the baby, but it was a lie. So it was either a miscarriage or it was a lie about a child. And according to this, their sex is on fire, so they could have, could have uh, caught an STD as well. Hangman in reverse. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. There we go. Yeah. Giving up. They, they gave up. And this is the female equivalent of a player okay okay so this person is now at a crossroads because they got they got caught out they got trapped with someone else they slept with somebody else probably caught an std and this other person tried to trap them with a baby Aries, what is your advice? You're going to find out this, either this weekend or soon, Aries. The truth is going to come out about this major betrayal. About an, about an affair or something. Right, you've got Panther Spirit, so reclaim your power. You've been doing that for months, so. And you've got Moth Spirit, so surrender now. Why do you need to surrender now? First clarification on the Oracle. Why does... Okay, wrong deck. What deck do you want? And Romance Angels, okay. Okay, why does Aries need to surrender? Forgiving and learning. Why does Aries need to surrender now to Moth Spirit? Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of time together. You've got somebody coming in. Yeah, okay, so forgiving and learning did come out. So as you release and heal the past, you'll experience more love in your present moments. So surrender to that. Forgive and learn. Surrender to that. And trust. Trust, Aries. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Surrender to that. And you've got to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's your life, Aries. Don't let anyone dictate what you do in your life. I literally put a status on Facebook this morning saying, it's my fucking life. Don't tell me what to do. Don't do this, don't do that. And I'm thinking, no, I rule the roost. I can go out when I want. You know, I can have friends over to my house if I want. And I can get into a new relationship if I want. Because Aries, I'm an Aries. you got wedding. Okay, so this situation involves a marriage. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave your reading there. Or should I say, all signs, your reading's done.